Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley. I'm glad to be here filming another video for you. And I have just haven't had a chance to film lately. I was super, super sick like about a week and a half ago. So of course I wasn't filming, but I had some pre-filmed content that went up then. Then I had a root canal and then, you know, I have to work and life is busy and I have other things going on outside of work so here i am but i am talking about the sephora vib sale you know it starts friday so a lot of people have been like posting their videos so i just thought that you know i would do my take and what i want to talk about and things that i recommend some things are new some things have been around for a while so and some things i just think like maybe you should just check it out so i have pulled like quite a few products to talk about um you could probably guess one of them's from my favorite brands of course pat mcgrath of of course okay so let's go ahead and jump into the sale details so the sale actually starts for vib rouge on April 26th and we get 20% off so usually in the spring is only 15% off but this time we are getting 20% off and we get to shop from April 26th all the way through May 6th so that's a full two weeks and if you are VIB you get 15% off and you shop through May 2nd through May 6th and if you are an insider excuse me you get to shop through May 2nd through May 6th and that is 10% off okay so the VIB Rouge we get about full two weeks to shop so I just let you know what status I am but you know I think y'all already knew I was rude, okay? <laughs> okay? So before we get into the items that I'm going to talk about, you know, this VIB sale, I always like when it comes up, but then sometimes I feel like a lot of the stuff I already have that I might purchase because I always buy things when they usually come out for the most part, but it's a good time to kind of stock up on some things that you do need or that you go through pretty quickly that you, you know, get a discount off of like eyebrow pencils, maybe a couple lip glosses, maybe your foundation, things that are wise, or maybe just that eyeshadow palette that you just really been waiting to get your hands on if you're not like me buying when things first come out. However, but I don't want to throw any shade to anybody because how you spend your money is how you spend your money. But but remember guys it's 20 percent off y'all and do not go crazy with this sale you know if you go crazy fine and you can afford it that's fine but don't feel the need to just like buy everything because it's just 20 percent off at the end of the day so i have my eye on a couple things and i'll kind of briefly share that at the end but these are the things that i have currently in my collection that i think is worth picking up and some are new some are like kind of old like I said so let's go ahead and jump right in so the first palette I'm gonna start with and I'm just gonna like put the prices up here the original prices what they would be up here while I'm talking about the product because I don't remember everything offhand but the first palette I want to talk about is this palette by Urban Decay this palette actually came out last summer and this is actually a permanent palette in their line and this is called the Born to Run palette. I'm sure everybody has seen it, but I really love this palette. I unfortunately, because I have so much <laughs> shadow, uh, which is no secret at this point, I don't get a chance to use it a lot, but it is so nice. And it has a heavy case. I actually put this in like my favorite palettes of 2018, but it has a magnetic closure. And when you open it, it has this huge mirror. The mirror is literally the whole entire palette. And you have these beautiful shades that the palette actually folds down like this, but you have everything you need. So if you're looking for a good palette that is, you know, you have a pops of color, you have some smoky jewel tones, you have your basic everyday gold brown, orangey colors you got your transition colors you have a fabulous black right here this color called drift is absolutely beautiful there is a color called smog that is wonderful you got your mattes you have your highlighter shade i think this palette is so nice and this is like one of urban decay's better palettes as of lately you know sometimes they can be very hit or miss but this palette by urban decay is a surefire winner and i think like if you just need an all-inclusive palette in your collection um, with just a few pops of colors or just something to kind of smoke out your look when you're going out at night or just something that you can maybe kind of put on to go to work or do anything really I think this is a great palette to have I mean like they said they call it born to run so like you can just have any palette or any type of color combination um while you're out traveling because you never know sometimes you might just want to spice up your look when you're out on vacation um but I think this palette is gorgeous the quality is great the formula is wonderful the urban decay um 
This is like back in the day's true standard Urban Decay formula. And I think it was very smart for them to make this permanent palette. It is so pretty. I think this palette does not disappoint. So I would definitely check out this palette, especially if you're just in the market for a good basic palette. Like it's basic, but it's not like extra basic. You get what I mean? So this palette is actually um, a palette that it came out for the holiday. And it's very expensive. It's on the pricey side. But if you're looking and you had your eyes on it, this palette is still available right now as we speak. You probably see like the corners of it. But I'm talking about the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. This palette is amazing. I just think like it has so many good color combinations and it has a great color story and it's very versatile for a wide variety of people um because you definitely have your everyday looks in here you have the shades that are like definitely going to bump it up like this shade right here this is called uh aurora i'm just going to do a couple swatches right here but i mean i've done a video on this palette too but i think like if you are looking for this palette and you've been eyeing it this is the time to pick it up you know you have a lot of different transition shades i do however wish that these two shades were different but if you're looking for if you're a lover of gold eyeshadow and you don't tend to stray I will recommend this particular palette, okay? Because you have so many different finishes of gold that you really won't be tired of the different gold shades. You have different variations. Like you have a very much uh, yellow, high shell yellow with a dual chrome shift in green. You have a dark uh, blue matte to pull it all together to smoke out that outer look. You got the glitter shimmers right here with the dual chrome flip. You have a bright, stark yellow gold with a lot of shimmer that's actually very antique gold green. Then you got the bright sunshine gold. You have your regular mattes. You have your nice brown taupe. You have your champagne. You have your lighter champagne color that is a little bit more uh, glittery as well. You have very nice transition colors and then just a different pop of green. So if you're very interested in Natasha Denona and never tried out any of her palettes, I think this is the particular palette to try out. I know the $25 palettes are like... Yes, they're cute, but the formula is different. But this palette, she knocked it out of the park. You have a nice mirror. Well, okay, the mirror is weird. Oh, I would just, the mirror is weird. The flap is weird here, but the packaging is beautiful. Like I said, this palette retails for $129. So if you were looking for at this palette and you're still kind of like thinking like should, it's like my lighting. If you were really thinking that should I get this particular palette, I think that this is the time to go ahead and grab it. I don't know how much longer it's going to be around. I think it's supposed to be limited edition. It is available. I just checked on the Sephora website. So I think this is the time to grab it right now if you have your eye on this palette. Another item that I have by Natasha Denona is actually the Bloom Blush Palette Duo. This is the Blush and Glow Duo. And it has this beautiful rose gold packaging. It's hard in case. I have been loving this and I know when it came out, I did a video on it. You have a nice mirror right here. You have this flap, which is great because of the attention to detail because you've got two cream products right here. I know this blush looks stark, but I'm just going to do a swatch of it right here. It's cream, but it blends out so well and suits so many different skin tones. So if I blend it out, you definitely can get a nice flush look. Not to mention you don't have to pick up very much of it. And then you have this glow. You have two powder highlights and you can just use this as a blush. It is so pretty, so blinding. You can build it up. You can tone it down. It fits so many skin complexions. This is definitely a winner. And this retails for, I want to say, about $55. So if you're interested, I think that this is the perfect time to pick up something like this. Okay, so another product that I've been loving lately that is actually pretty new is by our girl Rihanna. Right here, you we have these bronzers. You know what? Fenty, the, the fans, the Navy, they gonna kill her if she don't make any music. I think she's coming out with something else that she teased. Uh, as far as her makeup line, they gonna kill her if they don't get an album. But uh, she gave us bronzers. She gave us eight shades. So I picked up the girl. Um, I'm just gonna write it right here because you know how you could say things in your mind, but then when they translate, it doesn't come out. So yeah, <laughs> and everybody has told me how to pronounce it and that's fine. I'm just going to put it up there because I can't right now. But this is a beautiful bronzer. It is definitely going to give you warmth. This is not a bronzer that you're going to contour with. This is strictly a bronzer for warmth, okay? She came out with eight shades and it goes pretty dark. Um, I know if you're like Naima Tang's complexion, eh, 
<laughs> it's not quite dark enough, but it does work on very many uh, skin complexions, not particularly this one, but the whole shade range that I'm talking about. Um, it's very smooth. It is anti-orange. I did a video on this one also as well, but I have been loving this bronzer. I mean, and look at the packaging. How can you deny this packaging? So, you know, Rihanna's been killing it as far as the complexion products. So I think that you should definitely get your hands on this bronzer. Another Fenty product. This one is like old school and I'm like almost done with it. It's like down here. But I have re-fallen back in love with the Gloss Bomb. I actually have a little bit on today. And she has two of them. So she has Fussy, which is more of the purple mauve tone one or pinkish tone and then she has this one is called just the Fenty Glow actually and this is the original one so I don't as far as coverage in my particular lips because my lips are a little bit more pigmented I like the original one the best but I do know a lot of people like the mauve one a lot so I actually do wear both but I think for me that the original what's the video if I don't drop anything <laughs> So I think for me that this one is a little bit more universal, of course, because I can just layer it on top of lipsticks very well. I can just wear it on its own without, you know, it shows up. It's not sticky. It's not going to make your lipsticks smear all over your face because you kind of disrupted the formula of your lipstick. This is just a very universal flattery gloss. <laughs> if you just need a gloss <laughs> so this is the one i recommend and this is by Fenty beauty and this is the gloss bomb okay so keeping it with miss rihanna i'm gonna go into the concealers if you have not picked up the Fenty beauty concealer she released 50 shades in january along with setting powder. i have the setting powder but i have very dry skin so for me the setting powder is kind of like yeah because it just dried me out too well but when i tell you i love this i have been wearing this every day since it came out um as a foundation actually because like i said i have dry skin it provides just the right amount of coverage it doesn't look cakey it feels very comfortable especially since transitioning from the winter into the summer months because the or spring rather because summer is far off i live in chicago the fenty foundation the pro filter foundation tends to be very dry so a lot of people have been really loving this concealer as far as the finish of it because it gives you more of a dewy it gives just a more luminous effect to the skin and it's a lot more comfortable to wear, especially if you do have dry skin like myself. The coverage is amazing. I have like a horrible uninvited guest right here on my face. It's a lot smaller, but when I tell you that this pimple is red as I don't know what, <laughs> and this, this concealer has been a lifesaver, okay, this past week or so. I have no idea. I don't know. Like after I had my root canal, I just, the next morning I woke up and I had a terrible breakout going on so I'm attributing it to that maybe my skin didn't like the anesthesia and maybe it's coming out in that so I really recommend the Fenty concealer I wear the shade 370 and this is actually the shade that matches my foundation I know they were saying uh, you're kind of supposed to go I want to say this shade is meant to actually highlight but if you want a super more highlighted effect you do need to go um down a couple shades and then you need to pay attention to the undertones because it comes in like olive some of them are olive undertones some of them are golden some are neutral and so just to play on everybody's complexion so um i really do recommend this concealer also products that i love by fenty are the stunner lip paints and you know she has released some more so i'm kind of like on a low buy with lipsticks not kind of i am on a low buy with lipsticks but she released some more shades and these are two of the shades that she released in this last round of, I want to say February, March. And this is the shade, this first one is called Unlocked. And it's a bright pink. I mean, this is the most beautiful hot pink. And I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Like, if you have been looking for a hot pink lipstick, honey, this is it. And it's so comfortable. This lip formula, this... Uh, cannot talk <laughs> but this 
formula is so comfortable to wear, so bold, so vibrant. It does not take a lot to build up. It's not going to settle in your lines. It's not going to look patchy. It's very opaque. It is a beautiful hot pink color. This is hot pink done right. I like the color hot pink um, lipstick, but a lot of times it's hard to find it done correctly. So I really do like this shade. This shade is called Unlocked. Another shade that was released is, I mean, if you're still in the like the vampy mood, I really have been loving this shade. It is a deep eggplant purple. And this is the shade. Here's the swatch of it. It's right here. This deep, beautiful purple. And this is the shade called Undefeated. So I've really been loving this shade also. And then we have the original right here. And this is Uncensored. Uncensored is a beautiful red. If you have been looking for a red that can complicate complement any skin tone, this right here is the best red. It is true red. It the formula, like I said, is impeccable. You don't have to worry about it transferring all over the place, especially with a bright bold color like this. This formula is amazing. This color is amazing. And I've had this ever since it's come out and it's lasted. And it still looks great every time I wear this. So I definitely recommend this shade if you're in the market for a red. And then another shade I have, which is a deep down brown. What is a deep down? Deep dark brown? What is that? But I have this deep brown shade. So these are like my favorite shades out of the out of the line. I do have some of the other ones, but these are definitely the ones I recommend for the sale. This is the shade Unveil. This dark brown it's so pretty and it has like a hint of purple base to it this is so pretty and it's going to look great on so many complexions so i definitely recommend this particular shade also and this is the shade called unveil so the fenty uh stunner lip paints i definitely recommend that you grab them if you have not tried them already so the next product i want to talk about is actually the tatcha self canvas primer so i guess you guys didn't even know i had this in my collection mm, surprise surprise okay so <laughs> i picked up the tatcha self canvas primer because um justine she was just like mm. she was like you really need to try it and she was like, you know, it's going to protect your skin. It's going to make you look nice. It's a clean primer. She's super into clean makeup. Anyway, I picked up the small guy because, you know, Tatcha is expensive anyway. And the big primer goes for $50. So this is $25 and it's cute and it comes just like this. And I'm happy with this size. Okay. So this primer... Like I said, it does all of that, okay? So it protects your pores, it makes you look flawless, it makes the makeup go on very smooth. So I have been getting into liking some coverage when I go about my everyday routine. And so I have been putting on the Silk Canvas Primer and like everything just glides over so nicely. If I have any areas that have a little bit of texture, like right here, it just kind of smooths them out. It smooths out right here in my T-zone. Some of them I have a little texture from just some of the dry skin patches that are kind of like working its way to the surface and kind of flaking off. But I have really been liking this primer. You need very little. I mean, I'm sure you've heard about this primer. So if you've been wanting to try it, they have a small one. It's $25. I don't think you can go wrong. I've literally had this primer since like February. And I'm sure I have a whole lot <laughs> left. Like, uh... I'm nowhere near hitting pants. So I have really been loving this primer. So I think that there's something you should definitely try out. Something else that I tried out from uh, Tatcha is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I think this is so nice. So, you know, I have dry skin. So I can just pop this in my purse. I have the sample size. I'm almost done with it. It's like right here. Um, I just really like this for when I'm just kind of feeling dry. Like you've been sitting in the air someplace and the air just kind of circulates around you. Maybe you're on an airplane. That could be one good area. Or you're just in an area where it's poorly vented and you've just been sitting there all day. You could just kind of go in the bathroom, spray your face with this, give yourself an instant refreshing, hydrating lift. You know, because especially if you have dry skin, you know what I'm talking about. Like you just get to the point where you're just like... My day is still going, but my face is so dry, but it does not disrupt your makeup. So you can use this actually to prime before, or you can use this afterwards to set. And then anytime you just need a little spray, you know, during the day, just to kind of get you through and get your hydration level back on charge, on point, 
you know, I like this. So I definitely recommend picking this up. And I think I'm going to pick, I don't know. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I should pick up another one. So we'll see if I do. Okay, my next product is actually... Like we're not we're not new to this, but maybe you haven't seen this set. And it's the All Fired Up Glitter and Glow set by Stila. So when these products came up to the market, you know they're a super big hit, and I love them. But let's be honest, we're not going to be wearing like Stila Glimmer and Glow, Shimmer and Glows, all of that, you know, every single day. So and they're pretty pricey, you know, they're twenty five for one. So this is a small little set. And it's three for 25. And I wasn't going to buy this, but when I swatched it, it was actually like in the little to-go section in Sephora when you're going through the little queue to go pay. And I was just like, these colors are amazing. So <clears throat> I really like this set for a lot of different reasons. So like I said, this is the fire one and it's called All Fired Up and three for $25. You can't beat that, okay? Because let's be honest, I've never seen anybody go through a, a shimmer and glow or a glitter and glow. If you have, let me know. Anyway, but I really like this because they're super high pigmented and high shine. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch them. The first shade right here. And this is the shade called Sunset Fire. Then we have Follow the Sun. The second one is Follow the Sun. Then the next shade, which is probably my favorite, is called Burnish Sienna. But these on the eyes remind me a lot of some of the Pat McGrath special shades, especially like this particular shade. They're very high shine, very foiled, very, they, they're they very brilliant. There are a lot of pigments to it, but the Follow the Sun shade, especially like, it kind of reminds me of one of just the special shades that are sheer that you can just kind of layer on top of any eyeshadow. So I just felt like if you couldn't afford like a Pat McGrath uh, big eyeshadow palette or you didn't want to spend the money on it and you wanted something that gave like that special shade effect or just gave something that is super high shine, high pigment, high glitter, extra foil. I felt like this particular set did it. Like, I love these still uh, glitter and glows, but I feel like these three are the most vibrant <laughs> that I've ever seen out of this particular line. So like, my camera cut off, but I just felt like these were just a really nice deal. And you can't go wrong with them. I mean, three for 25, if you just really been wanting to try some of them out and haven't taken a plunge yet, maybe you didn't know about these shades, um, if you're really into warm, vibrant tones, these right here, it's beautiful. You can't go wrong. Three for 25, okay? Okay, so my next product is actually something I'm wearing on my eyes right now. And I wore this look to work, okay? So it's actually the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. So I think that this is just a, such a fun palette. And if you haven't picked this palette up already, I think you should pick it up. It is limited edition, but the color scheme is very beautiful. If you're a person that just loves neutrals, but need some accent shades, this is for you. If you're a person that just loves color, this is for you. If you're a person that just likes to collect eyeshadow, this is for you. So this is what the palette looks like. I mean, we have this beautiful nautical theme going on. So like, I think that this palette is pretty neutral. Like I wore this look to work today. I have this all over my eyes and I have, um, I started my uh, transition off with Cabana, then I went to Coastline, a tad bit of Monte Carlo, and then I used a little bit of Palm and Mediterranean, and then I did kind of jump into my um, Soft Glam palette just a little bit, but, oh, and I have a, uh, what is this, Yacht on the inner corner. So like you said, I, I, you have several neutral shades right here. You have an awesome dark brown. You have a bright gold. You have a nice soft sandy gold. You have your white matte. So the only super vibrant shades you have are this one. Maybe seashells. Mediterranean is a very bright gold. But the rest, this color called Mediterranean and this color called Seaside, they're actually, they're bright, but they're pretty muted. Like, I don't work in the office, but... I don't feel like my blue eyeshadow was just so bright that people are going to be like, 
really good on blue eyeshadow. So this is like how I try to push the envelope of wearing color to work. Because I was like, what palette am I going to use today? I was like, hmm. I'm going to use this palette. <laughs> I'm going to wear this color Mediterranean. I'm not even going to play it safe by just putting vacay all over my eyes. But I'm going to put a little vacay in the, in the corner so that it brings a little brightness. And, you know, it's not all just blue that you're seeing. If anybody tries me, which nobody's going to say anything for the most part. <laughs> so, um, but I think this palette is so nice. These colors are so pigmented. I have a look with this video. I think this is a super complimentary palette to like the Soft Glam, Norvina. I did a video with this and Norvina together. Compliments super well, especially this shade right here. And uh, there's a shade in Norvina that's a pink matte. And, but the only, this Bahamas and probably Cons are the two shades that probably just really scare people. But, it's not super bright. It's super bright, but it's not. So I think this is a good complimentary palette if you're looking for something to just kind of update your collection, spring your uh, collection forward. I think this is super nice. And so this is definitely the time to pick it up when there's a sale or a bit of a discount going on. And this palette is limited edition. Okay, so let's get into the last few of my products. So the last few of my products are by my homegirl, my Auntie Pat, of course. So, you know, I think that in general, if you're interested in Pat McGrath, this is probably the time to grab some of the things, except for like if she runs a a very good generous sale on her site but I think I've never seen any of her stuff on her actual site go any more than 20% off so I think this is the time to grab some things okay so let's talk about maybe one of the most affordable options okay so we're gonna talk about the eye ecstasy kit right here I did a video on this she released this little mini palette about a month ago where you get this palette six pan palette you get a pigment and a mascara. I'm not going to open this mascara because I do have the big one. So I'm going to keep this one closed. But I'll show you what the wand looks like. All for $48. And so the only way, the only thing that was actually skipped is just some of the packaging. The quality in the products was not skipped. I have gotten plenty of use out of this. If you just want to try her formula, you've been interested in her eyeshadows, pick this up. I think this is going to go so fast. So get this in your cart i mean unless she has stockpiled this i think this is a sephora only so she might have a lot of them but you know it's a sale i think this might sell out but because it's 48 dollars, i mean honestly <laughs> and the colors are wearable they're every day many people are interested in these colors so this is what the palette looks like if you haven't seen it i was at first i was shocked i was like these pants are small what is going on? Because she usually gives you like two grams of product. This is 1.1 grams maybe, or maybe just one gram. But usually one gram is actually the size of a ColourPop shadow. Um, but the formula, the formula is the same. This palette is beautiful. You could just pop it in your bag. You could go travel with it, take it with you to work. You have a black, you have two golds. I mean, look at this gold. I think this is one that's called Silk Liquid Sun. You can't beat that. It's butter. The same <laughs> as anything. I mean, like butter. It's another shade, one of the more rose colored. Now, this shade was new to it. I mean, it's just such an everyday complimentary palette. I think you cannot go wrong with this. This is very pleasing to many folks, you know. And then you have a black and you have this nice warm brown transition shade. I mean, what can I say? And she doesn't skip on the formula. And you get a mascara and you get a nice little pigment to vamp up your look or amp up the look so you can have that nice glitter foil shade kind of like a special shade but in a jar I would prefer it wasn't in the jar obviously because it's just easier to use something that's in a palette but I mean you can't go wrong for $48 especially if you're just trying to try out her eyeshadows to see if it's worth it do you like it grab the eye ecstasy kit okay that I think that is going to go fast some other items that are going to go fast from her she has, I might not even have, I have both of them, but she has two mini lip gloss sets right here. So these are both of the sets. I love these lip glosses. I mean, look, I've used that a lot. I've used like all of them. I love this brown shade. This brown shade is called Flesh 4. Beautiful. 
I love all of the shades. Her lip glosses, oh look, this one has a big dent, if you can see right here. These three for $25. One of her regular lip glosses goes for $25. And at this point, I have so much makeup. I'm so much into buying minis where I can try out a few shades because let's be honest, I'm going to want a few shades for $25 versus one for $25. And then I spent $75 on lip glosses and that's just crazy. So these are going to be a good deal. They're going to go fast, okay? Because even when she did the lipstick mini kits, the lipstick mini kits are also great. So she has like a news one and a red one. So when those first came out, boy, you had to get on that email list to get when they were back in stock. And so for these to have a little bit of a discount with it too, you know it's going to go fast, okay? Um, I also recommend her mascara. At first, I wasn't so much in love with it. Now, it's really growing on me. I don't mind it as much. So if you want a nice mascara, it doesn't transfer. It layers well. It gives nice volume, and it gives nice separation. And the, I think the biggest thing for me is not, it's not transferring. I don't look like a raccoon at the end of my day. And the mascara is actually only like $28, I want to say. So that's actually not that much for a mascara. Typically, you know, most high-end, especially when we talk about Pat McGrath, like Dior and all of them, their mascaras are like in the 30s, probably 40 dollar range. So this is 28 You know, Too Faced Better Than Sex is like $25. So it's right around in that price point. So I, I would try that out. But if you get the eye ecstasy kit, you get a mini one in there. So you get like, you get shadows, you get a mascara. You know, it's like a win-win situation, okay? Then this baby, like if you, especially if you're rude, because like I said, I think when she runs her sales on her line, I think they're only 20% off. So all of the big Pat McGrath palettes. The one I especially recommend, Mothership 5. Gorgeous. I'm sure by now we have all know what Mothership 5 looks like. Um, I also recommend Mothership 3. That's one of my favorites also. Um, besides Decadence, but that is a limited edition one. This is Mothership 5. I think this is also one of my favorite palettes because these special shades, these four right here, are some of my favorite out of all the palettes. Literally. I love this palette. And you know, I had to start thinking about it like, oh, people are like, oh, I'm not going to get that much use. I wear my Pat McGrath palette. If I'm going to work, I'm wearing my Pat McGrath palette. I don't care. I'm going to use it at this point, okay? I When I had my very first one, which was Mothership 3, I got it as a Christmas gift. I was like, oh, I can only wear special occasions. And then I got the decadence. And I was like, oh, now I got so much. I'm like, look, if I want to dip in... I'm dipping in. If I just want to put a gold shade on my lid, if I want to use the brown, if I want to use, this is Mothership uh, 3, if I just want to use the satin brown, this one, this shade, I'm, I'm using it. That's what it's here for. Life is short. Use it. <laughs> use your makeup. That's all I got to say, okay? So, I definitely recommend any of the Pat McGrath palettes. I'm not a super big fan of the cool tone ones, but I think they're beautiful as well. Um, of course, I also recommend stuff is on the fall. I, I just said this. La Vie and Rose. If you love mauves, you love purples, you love pinks, this is beautiful, okay? This palette right here is beautiful. Also, I recommend the single shadows that just came out. The idols, you know, they're going to go fast too. Um, I know like this shade, I think Synthetica and maybe Copper Eyes are just only on her website, but they do have quite a bit of them on the Sephora website. I recommend that as well. So I would just, if you're interested, the eye crayons are amazing by Pat. The lipsticks. This is the time to kind of grab a few things, <laughs> you know, so. So I hope that you find these recommendations helpful. I'm going to grab a couple of things. Honestly, I think I'm not going to grab too much because a lot of the stuff that I'm actually have my eye on, it's not carried at Sephora. <laughs> so um, I think I'm just going to pick up a couple things that I've been kind of waiting to get and just maybe need a backup of, like maybe some eyebrow pencils, but uh, maybe I'll grab, I think I'm going to grab another Luminous Dewy Skin and then just a couple skincare items. But I'm going to come on and do a haul, if that's okay with you guys, uh, regarding the things that I did pick up for my VIB uh, sale. 
but I think that you can't go wrong with any of these products and have fun shopping and I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I got to do my chair dance. It's been a minute, y'all. And please remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and then leave me a comment because you know I would love to see what you're thinking down below and I will definitely get back to you. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.